Hi everybody, Rachel here. Welcome back to my channel. I have a fab recipe for you today. It is spiced mackerel fillets and that's on a creamy coconut dal with some spiced potato wedges, sweet potato wedges. It's so easy, it's so healthy. The kids enjoyed it and it's so simple. Here's how you make it. Grab about three sweet potatoes, cut them into wedges, add some oil and some salt and some spices. I used garam masala. Toss them around in a big roasting pan and they're gonna roast for about half an hour on about 190. Who's that cheeky monkey? I knew she'd sneak into this video. Uh, chop up garlic and onions. I used about three cloves of garlic and one onion. Add some oil to a pan and sweat the garlic and onions down. Add a little garam masala in there too. Sweat them down for about 20 minutes until they're nice and soft. Once they're soft, add some red lentils into the pan along with some chicken stock and some coconut milk, full fat. Give that a little stir and then simmer that. Bring it to the boil and simmer for about 20 minutes and it'll be done. Uh, oil on your mackerel fillets. Again, garam masala, the same spice all the way through. It's really easy and some salt. Again, give those a really nice rub so they're all covered in the nice mixed or, uh, spiced oil. Get your pan super, super hot so you can't hold your hand over it. Add some oil and then pop your salmon, uh, your salmon? Mackerel fillets in. You want them to be in, go into a really hot pan. You're gonna cook them on the skin side until they're almost done. So this is literally a few minutes. There's the doll, see it's really easy. About In about 20 minutes it'll go to that consistency. Once the mackerel fillets are almost cooked through, you see, just toss them over then. And then once you've tossed them over, turn off the heat. That's all they need, they're super quick. A few minutes, they're done. Serve it up together in a bowl with some coriander, some yogurt and some chili flakes. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, please make it and if you do, do let me know. I really love hearing about it when you make my recipes. That's all for now. See you next time.